Hello, as I wrap up my time with the Spokane Police Department, I wanna take these few minutes to update you on the state of the department. The future is always uncertain, but the quality and caliber of the men and women of the Spokane Police Department is not. Our accomplishments outweigh our challenges and our officers are second to none, receiving three times the commendations as complaints. This is a police department that consists of well-trained, intelligent men and women with integrity, compassion, and a desire to provide the best possible service to you, the community. The same community where our officers live, work, play, and raise their families. Let's talk about staffing. The past three years have been a challenge for police officer recruitment and retention nationwide, as well as here in Spokane. But we are pleased to report SPD managed to hire some of the best and brightest people to serve in our ranks. This year alone, we have hired 34 officers, and by early January, we will be as close to staffing our 352 budgeted positions as we have been in years. We will enter January with only two vacancies, which will likely be filled quickly by laterals with a strong desire to work in Spokane. This success is not an accident. We have made recruiting and training a priority, dedicating a sergeant to both hiring and training while incorporating a full-time recruiting employee. Despite our successes in hiring, the demand for police services still exceeds our capacity. We are 200 officers short of the national average of officers per thousand residents. And that is during a time when calls for service are up. Still, our officers show up, handle as many calls as they possibly and safely can, and give their all to each and every interaction. So to our community, please be patient with our officers. They are working as hard as they can without sacrificing the quality of our service. Let's talk about crime. Yes, crime has increased in Spokane in numerous categories, as it has across the state. But our effort to combat crime trends has increased as well. We have created a number of specialty units dedicated to driving down crime with officers and detectives who bring unique skills to their teams. Here are some of them. The Violent Crime Task Force was formed to address violent crimes including murder, rape, and robbery. This task force identifies and arrests the most active and dangerous offenders. Additionally, the task force has seized dozens of firearms and numerous vehicles, all associated with the commission of felony crimes. The missions carried out by the Violent Crimes Unit are proactive and intelligence-based to hold the most violent criminal offenders accountable. Ultimately, this makes the streets of Spokane safer for everyone. The Stolen Property Enforcement and Recovery Unit, known as SPEAR, was set up to address property and quality of life crimes, including significant retail theft and fraud. SPEAR is very effective in investigating and arresting chronic thieves and recovering stolen property for victims. They have returned thousands of dollars worth of stolen property to owners. We also know that those involved in property crimes are usually also involved in other criminal acts, including drug offenses. SPEAR has initiated hundreds of new felony charges, each representing a victim in our community since their inception several years ago. The Spokane Regional Behavioral Health Unit is an integral part of our response in addressing community safety issues. The number of people experiencing mental health issues has increased substantially, requiring a dedicated team of law enforcement and mental health clinicians to respond to people in crisis. BHU has had many successes diverting people in crisis away from hospital emergency rooms or jail, thus freeing up space in those overtaxed facilities while helping to ensure public safety and providing services for those in need. The Homeless Outreach Team was established several years ago as an approach to helping individuals experiencing homelessness. Officers proactively contact the homeless, direct them towards services such as shelters, and take appropriate enforcement action when warranted. The Homeless Outreach Team responds to concerns from business owners, shoppers, tourists, and others to find solutions to our homeless crisis. The goal of our HOT unit is to find a balance between assistance for those who need and will accept it and accountability for those who continue to create issues in our neighborhoods and businesses with no regard for others. Our tactical units are being called out at unprecedented levels. For example, let's talk about our SWAT team. With increasing frequency, officers are facing violent suspects who either have the sole intention of harming officers or have recently committed other violent acts and are willing and able to continue doing so in order to avoid apprehension. Our SWAT team has been more active than ever as they take into custody the most violent suspects who present the greatest risk to public safety. The number of SWAT callouts is at record numbers, as is the number of violent offenders our agency comes into contact with 
each and every day. The increased training and tools provided to our SWAT team allows them to overwhelmingly end most situations peacefully and effectively. I want to talk about accreditation briefly. SPD is proud to hold a certification under the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs accreditation program. This accreditation reflects the highest standards of policing and represents agencies successfully implementing best practices and standards. It is an extremely lengthy and involved process the majority of law enforcement agencies in Washington have yet to achieve accreditation. SPD has successfully accredited and re-accredited for the last decade. As I look back on my time as chief of this amazing department, something that stands out to me outside of our innovation in fighting crime, our training, our specialty teams, and our awards and accommodations is the amount of community interaction our officers have and seek to have with you, the people we serve. SPD has a number of organized community programs like PAL, the Police Activity League, where we partner with youth and mentor strong values and integrity while playing sports. But there are a host of other community outreach efforts that officers undertake on their own. Officers delivering food to a victim family in need, buying a bike for a child who had their stolen, officers organizing a blanket and sheet drive for refugees. These are just some examples. Recently, we've expanded our relationship with refugee organizations like World Relief and Thrive International, helping people who have relocated to Spokane from other countries understand the role of local police and how we can assist them. Our efforts and successes at engaging with the community have never been greater, and you all are worth it. As I close, I would like to say to our officers, I could not be more proud of each and every one of you. You show up every day, walk into adversarial situations where someone is experiencing their worst day, and you work to make the situation better. You share your humanity and you try your best to right wrongs and lift up those who are hurting. You truly are the best of the best. Spokane, you are in good hands.